Excuse me. Willy Willy Reeds be the name. Put her there. Liza Lauderbay. Be we in Arkansas? No, but I was in a movie Aye. called Lost Arkansas. Can't say I've heard. Oh. Aye. You. Aye. Have you seen it? Aye. Lost Arkansas? Aye. I was starring. Yeah, no. Sorry. <laughs> seen a lot of movies. movies. Not that many. Yeah, you should watch a lot of movies. Because, I mean a lot. Oh, yeah, not really. Take a look. Who goes there? Mm. Hello? Hello. Hi, where's Jerry? Nice to meet you. I'm Harry's son, actually. I don't, I don't know, I don't recognize any of you. I knew your father. He was a good man. Oh. Is that so? Uh, I actually never met my father. My name is Jerry. Was he a good man? I... I... I just I, said that he was. I... I... I'm Detective I, Jones, by the way. Oh. Mr. Detective Jones. Oh. Nice to meet you. As I was saying, I... 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 I never knew my father. I was adopted, yes, left, as an infant. I wasn't good enough, it seemed. I... I never had a father. And I've held it against him for years. In fact, my friend, I hate my father. I <coughs> hate. You all must be wondering why I brought you here today. I know none of you know each other, and I don't know any of you either. I'm glad to say, actually. My name is Roland Rollins. Roland Roland Rollins. You know, I've got a, a commercial on the TV, whatever. <clears throat> Anyways, you were all brought here for one solitary reason, and that is of the name of Harold Hoffenfatz. I'm sure you know. And you. You saw him at his last living moments. Yes, he was perhaps one of the greatest men I have ever encountered. Did you... did he seem sick? No, he seemed fine to me. Yes, well, he mysteriously died that night, and you are all on his will. Suffice to say, the will is incredibly complicated, and it all has to be in secret, so none of you must speak of what has, goes on today. None of you must utter a word. I don't know the legal implications of this, detective, but you're going to have to put your profession aside for a little while. <laughs> Since none of you knew him personally, let me tell you a little bit about him. <clears throat> <clears throat> Harold Hofferfantz, he was the inventor of the... Long pants swimming trunks, uh, the dubbed famed happy pants. He made millions between the years of 1925 to 1927. And he spent thousands on his mansion. And it seems that after it was completed, he went crazy and became a cave hermit. But retained most of his wealth. Hmm. And yes, there was Detective Jones who we all know now, met him in his last days of life. The rest of you are all distant relatives. Here it's Willie Reed, Mr. Willie Reeds. He's a long lost cousin of Harold Hofferfantz and a self-proclaimed bum. This man's been on the street for 15 years and he steals Mrs. Martin's newspapers. Ms. Liza Lauderberry. You were the widower to the grape baron, Robert Lauderberry, who sold sodas during Prohibition. Also, my files indicate that you were once a child actress, but you failed in your acting career. I was famous! What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, I was so in, um... Afraid I'm not the pleasure of seeing any of your films. I've seen... Uh, I've, I've been in Pretty Pretty Princess. Uh, I've been Over the Rainbow. Over the rainbow, uh, I was in... sounds really lovely. But we, please, let's just move on uh, to the next. I was famous. You would be famous. And then Jerry Sadir Jakit, originally named Jerry Hofferfance, 
son and closest living relative of the recently deceased Harold Hoffafence. He is not my father! Yes, he, you're legally he's your father. I, I, you didn't have to show up to these proceedings, although there was the threat of death if you did not come. Anyways, your father put you up for adoption and later tried to reach out to you for mysterious reasons, but you disowned him. Mysterious? Those weren't mysterious. He's a greedy man. And then, of course, Majin Shanks. Uh, he's the death mute. He's related in some way. I don't have too much information on him, really, but it doesn't really matter because he can't hear what I'm saying right now. <laughs> Anyways, you're always probably wondering why I called you here today, and that is to separate the estate. Of Harold Hoffer Fats. Is, is that right, uh, Jerry? Uh, it's Halfer Fats, but Hoff you shouldn't. You don't need to be concerned Fats. with that last name. Uh, Just uh, call him Happy Pants. That's what he liked. Queer. The will was very detailed and complex. There's a few things that actually lawyers cannot work out on their own, and the people who are being willed to will actually have to help solve some sort of bizarre puzzle. It's really strange and we're all sworn to secrecy. Solving puzzles, eh? Yes. Well, it just so happens that's what I'm good at. Back in Vietnam, 1957, Chung Lao Hao solved that one. It was the butler, the pantry, the loaf. 1962, Robert Johnson, <laughs> dead on a railroad track eaten away by mice, his intestines pouring out of his ankles. Uh, yes, yeah, that's great. It, it'll be great to have you uh, on board, Mr. What was your first name, Detective Jones? Detective Jones. Uh, yes. <sighs> Anyways, I, I've got this uh, secret document somewhere here. It's incredibly important, but it seems to be missing. Hmm? Any of you know where it might have gone, detective? Well, anytime there's a mystery, you gotta start with the motivation. There's homeless Wooly Bully over here, who of course is looking for some money after his failed can recycling scheme was thwarted by none other than me. And then there's little Miss Pretty Hollywood Actress, who ever since her career failed has been whoring herself around the downtown delta looking to score some dope and money. You don't know. And then there's the deaf mute. He cannot hear, nor can he speak. And then there's the petulant, perturbed son of our late friend. Yes, he is the one. He is the one. Maybe. <laughs> Well, what about you, Mr. Detective? Me? If that is your real Me? name. Me? Yeah. Ah. You. Ah. I read things about you. Ah. Hold on, hold on. What hey, is that? Ah. that ah. Enough of your ah. ponies. I read a lot of things about you in newspapers. I read that you falsely put evidence all over the floor, and then you pick it up and say that it's real evidence. Falsely or non-falsely? I believe it was falsely in which I read it. Well, you're alone in your opinion on that one. No. Yes. Alan Silverstein of the Daily Mercury News said so. Alvin Silverstein's a communist. We were in communist Gentlemen, all the gentlemen, time. Gentlemen, please. We're here for a common goal and a common reason. You must understand that. But I agree with the detective that if there's one person who would want to foil all his father's plans, it would be you. Come forward, I urge you to come forward if you have the secret document. I have no secret document. Maybe you have the He's secret document, Mr. Do lawyer. If I had the secret document, let go of the law. I would have already revealed it and we could all go home. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, I would. I this is not as pleasant as it is for me as it is for you. Oh. You guys are the ones getting the money. I don't understand all the hubbub. Oh, I just want the secret document. Dream, oh. I just want the oh. stupid secret, secret documents. God. Let's take a look in these <laughs> secret <laughs> documents. Playgirl, is that a name? Oh, my favorite. Telling? That is a secret document for Miss Liza. Ha. That's disgusting, ah. despicable, and I'm going to challenge you right Not now. 
Where is the secret document? That's what I want Sorry. to know! Wait a second! It's in one of my pockets. I forgot I had it earlier this whole time. Yeah, it my fault. It was completely my fault. Oh, let me see that. I'm the lawyer. I'm the lawyer here. Right, that's a here. secret document. Oh, right. Not a secret anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. This is quite surprising. I don't know what quite to make of this. I didn't know you That's not the secret document. This is the secret document. I'm sorry to tell you I had it the whole time. Wait a second. I have another secret document that you might like to see. This That's not a secret. I knew about that document this from the get-go. This is a sham. What about that secret document? Oh, yeah. Well, this is pretty secret, oh, too. Yeah, well, this secret came out three weeks before yours. Bammo. None of these are relevant to this investigation. What kind of detective are you, anyway? I don't want to get you to prove it. Barber's talking about my it father. It was a prestigious barber shop. Ah. Uh, 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 give me that secret to come mine to eat fettuccine all week. Can I play with the hair? Like, yeah. That's my secret. Put it in my mouth. Uh, wait a second, I just found this right here. This is another document. It's another document, you guys. Come on, I found a freaking document. Get on. Go crazy. This doc no, it has information about the secret document that I was looking for that I, I thought someone took, but I'm afraid I was mistaken. I'm sorry for this great misunderstanding, but this document is giving me a little of enlightenment on the situation. This detective. Turns out that the secret document is in a safe in this very room, and someone in this room knows the combination. <laughs> oh, ah, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He's dead! They're dead! They're dead! Oh, hey. <laughs> Hi, evil wenches! <laughs> oh, I being dead never hit so much. Well, I guess only the deaf mute's dead. I'm gonna end this once and for all. I know where the secret combination for the secret documents are, and I'm gonna destroy it. Here it is. Oh, what? Um, what did you do? You! Oh, uh, ring, 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 ring. What does it say? What does it say? Hmm. I'll grab a picture of Bernie Mac. It's a thing. Yeah, da dun da dun. dun.